Spokane after their car was struck by a train. Dozens are killed each year along Northwest Railways. And now new efforts to make them safer. King 5's Eric Wilkinson explains. It's a fatal attraction, teenagers and railroad tracks. Despite clearly posted warnings, many still come to walk the tracks and tempt fate. The temptation too often leading to tragedy. In the state of Washington, in the last two and a half years, there's been 35 people have died walking on the railroad tracks. So when you look at 35 pe deaths, people walk on the railroad tracks, that's traumatic. Just last month, a 19-year-old shoreline woman died when she was blindsided by an Amtrak train that hit her from behind. And a few weeks earlier, in almost the same spot near Golden Gardens Park, Catherine Thomas Smith hit and killed along the same section of track. She was just 14 years old. People who live along the tracks say they've seen far too much carnage. It's too bad that people don't realize that this is dangerous here. The easy thing is to stay away from the railroad tracks. Yeah, exactly. Now, hoping to raise awareness of the issue, some are taking the message of railroad safety to the people. There's been some people that were killed on the railroad track, and, and we need to make... Community activist and Seattle mayoral candidate Caleb Schauber, hoping his hands-on campaign will convince people to think twice before treading into harm's way. It's the same thing if people would run out into I-5, you know, it's, but it, it seems like safe, you know, you don't see a train, people assume that they could get up there and get out of the way of the train, but a lot of times that doesn't happen. Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News. She enjoys her Boise Beach.